This is an important question. Why is Scooby-Doo so popular? Like, it's one of those franchises that never dies. Every time it gets cancelled, it just revives in a newer, more powerful form. I'd understand if the concept had any kind of storytelling potential. But look at this. This is nothing. I mean, it's neat. The idea of there being a rational explanation behind the spooky mysteries. The fact that a bunch of goons in a hippie van are the only ones who can solve them. I can see the appeal here. But what I don't get is how that simple idea has mutated into a franchise the size of an entire human lifespan. Span, immortal and undying, evolving every few years. How did the show with the funny door gag and the semi-talking dog become this media behemoth? Well, if Scooby-Doo has taught me anything, and I have not watched a lot of Scooby-Doo, it's that there's a rational explanation for everything. Except when there isn't. This goes way deeper than you think, and when you learn what I've learned, you won't ever be the same. You'll never see the world the same way again. Like the sky? That's not gonna be the same color anymore. Gravity? That's upside down now. That's the magnitude I'm talking about here. This is life changing. Life resetting. Anyway, make sure to give this YouTube video a like on the like button. If my reality is gonna collapse around me, I wanna make sure I drag everyone else down with me. Alright, so why is Scooby Doo so popular? Well, the first thing we're gonna have to figure out is why it even exists. And the first thing you've gotta understand about Scooby Doo existing is that it doesn't. That's right, the funny mystery dog is a lie, a mass hallucination. CIA experiments in the 1960s revealed that all human minds were connected to the same source, a mighty swarm intelligence operating at the most subtle levels of our psyche. These experiments would continue into future decades and eventually become Project Stargate. Anyway, I wasn't surprised to learn that Scooby-Doo wasn't real. I mean, who actually thought Scooby-Doo was real? I never thought that. But what you're probably wondering is how these two things are even related to each other in any way. Well, think about it. It's obvious, really. In 1969, the true president of the United States attempted to gain control of the human overmind in order to attain true power over the entire human race. He ultimately failed, but each attempt created byproducts, mass hallucinations shared by all human beings, even those who had yet to be born. These hallucinations took the form of things like Scooby-Doo, Scooby's All-Star Laugh Olympics, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo, Scooby-Doo Zombie Island, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo Get a Clue, and all other iterations. Each new reboot of the series is another attempt at world domination from this shadowy mastermind, and so far, each attempt has failed. In fact, the entirety of Hanna-Barbera Studios is just a front, a facade built to hide this person's true operations. Think about it. Hanna-Barbera Studios. H. B. S. Human. Brain. Control. It was staring us in the face the whole time. I wear a lot of tinfoil hats, so I can see through these lies. But the obvious question still remains. Who is the one behind this? The true president of the United States. The man behind the mind control. The real CEO of Cartoon Network. This shadowy figure has been at the center of world politics for over 60 years, and has operated in complete secrecy. But I have uncovered the truth. It was Scrappy-Doo the whole time! He's real! I it was known. him all along! We all it was the funny Dogs comedy dog! Talk. Everyone knows Scrappy-Doo! I never wanted to say, even if he's a human racist dude!